needed to stretch your legs. Yeah, but now I can't feel them. If I'd known you were going to lead me up a mountain, I would have parachuted here and saved myself the hike. You haven't seen the view yet. Wow. That's spectacular. I figured you needed a little break after your trip. I'm trying to figure out why we're here, though. Sometimes the signs are there and you just don't notice them. What are you talking about? The sign? The wooden one falling apart in the wildflowers. Wow. Melinda Falls. Two natural wonders named Melinda in the same place. I wanted to take you somewhere that you'd never. You okay? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's just Melinda Falls. Oh my gosh, I hear it. Melinda Falls. <laughs> like a premonition of you plunging to your death. I didn't think of that. I didn't either until now. <laughs> you didn't bring me up here just to bump me off, did you? Why would I do that? I did just make you drive three hours to the airport. I volunteered to drive. It wasn't a chore. I just listened to a podcast. Which one? How to Get Away with Murder. What? <laughs> it's just a recap of the TV show. I wouldn't bring you up here to push you off. There's obviously security footage at the airport showing us together. There'd be two sets of footprints coming up the trail and only one going back. Wow, you put a lot of thought into this, haven't you? I have given it some thought, discovered this place while routing our trip, came up early, and stashed away a little surprise. Or, uh, I was gonna hide a picnic basket, but it seemed corny, so I hit this instead because it's a little cooler. <laughs> <laughs> A little wine, for your wine. A little cheese. To go with your jokes. You said you needed some fun after dealing with your family. I do, thank you. They are exhausting. I have just the thing to boost your energy. Apples and yogurt. Popcorn and chocolate. Best friend ever. I do have something I need to tell you, though. I don't want to spoil our picnic. Share the M&Ms and don't get so drunk I have to carry you down the mountain. Okay? So I've actually been here before? To Melinda Falls? Yeah, a long time ago. I didn't recognize the trail, but the view kind of clued me in on where we were. The sign must have been a pretty good hint, too. Yeah. The sign's not as good a shape as it was in the 90s, but then neither am I. I wish I'd known you back then. <laughs> I don't know about that. I was so dorky. You'd laugh if you knew what I did up here. Ooh, a story. Spill. The deets, not the candy. Okay, so I'm like 13 on a trip with my dad and brothers, worse than the weekend you just rescued me from. Male bonding going on everywhere, and I am miserable. That's why I choose not to bond with men. Wise women. <laughs> anyway, they're looking for fishing spots, and I see Melinda Falls on this big park map. The first time I'd ever seen my name anywhere that it wasn't directly referencing me. So I begged my dad until he let me hike up here myself, and I just sprinted all the way. Sprinted. My legs were stronger then. Or this mountain was smaller? I don't know. The hike is easy when you're focused on something important. I get it. Go on. I came into this clearing and it was like a dream. The sky, the flowers, the first river flowing into the second river to rush over the waterfall as one. It's a confluence. Two rivers becoming one. I thought a confluence was a bunch of stuff magically happening at the same time. Maybe it's both. Well, the confluence of rivers is how this place got its name. Melinda means union. That's beautiful. Aurora means Dawn. Then why didn't they just name you Dawn? I don't know. Finish your story. <laughs> Fine. So the Union of Rivers inspired this whole message in a bottle idea, so I pulled out my journal and my gel pen and I poured my heart into a poem. What did you write about? Who I was, where I went to school, what I liked. Pretty sure I rhymed NSYNC with bright pink and Rugrats with hug cats. Oh my god, I loved Rugrats. Loved everything Nickelodeon. Me too. Oh, I made a reference in my poem to the dead tree out there that looks like Crumb from Auto Monsters. Monsters! The poem sounds perfect. It was goofy, but honest, I guess. Good qualities in a poem. And in a person. So I tossed my poem in the river right as my brother showed up to bring me back to reality. In my fairy tale fantasy world, I actually believed someone would find it, rescue me from my family, and bring me back here to propose. Propose? You were 13. Well, it had to travel down the river, over the waterfall, out to sea, and into the hands of a lonely prince sailing the world in search of love. <laughs> that can take a while. 
I made a bow out of a handkerchief and a scrunchie, so it would be easier to find. Wait. Was it a thermos from a lunchbox? Spice Girls. Why? I, I think I found it. What, it just washed up at your feet? No, it washed up on the bank right over there. What are you talking about? I was searching for the tree that looked like crumb and something caught my eye. Look on the bank on the right, just as the river goes left. Wedged into the rock that looks like the aggro crag, it's my thermos! I sealed my hopes to send to the world, and they beached themselves like a sick whale. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know that. Maybe someone found it and brought it back. Look where it is. It's virtually inaccessible. Unless there is a human skeleton next to it, it never made it to the falls. The sign actually says, Melinda fails. You haven't uh, failed. My attempt to find love has gone nowhere for 20 years. Maybe you're putting your hopes into the wrong river. What? We've been friends for a few months now. Three. Maybe it's more than that. No, it's three. Comic -con Maybe it's more than friendship. Oh. We're great as we are. I know that. There's no one I'd rather spend my time with. It's just I really missed you when you were on your trip. I missed you too, actually. I was surprised. Confused, maybe. You probably realized I was crushing on you before you left. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not really great at seeing signs. I guess not. <laughs> Some of them were pretty obvious. Maybe you should get glasses. I have to admit I have thought about it. About getting glasses? About you. Us. I just have to convince myself that I'm ready to take the plunge. I get it. No pressure. No worries. No parachute. I'm not going to push you. Because of the footprints in airport security footage? Right. Let's just snack and drink and look at the rivers. Two beautiful forces of nature on different journeys that unexpectedly and majestically unite. To plummet and crash violently. To free fall together and make a big splash. You make it sound spectacular. I really think it could be. If that's what fate has in store. Well, technically, you did find my thermos. And rescue you from your family. And bring me to Melinda Falls. And make a proposal of sorts. If I ignore your rebellious disregard for my preferred order of events, this is nearly my entire fairy tale scenario come true. Nearly. <laughs> well, I always imagine the person that I fell in love with would be a oh, uh, royalty. Right. You are named after a Disney princess, though. So close. Mm -hmm. Close is nice. Quite a confluence, isn't it? Spectacular. <laughs>